two mitzvahs of Torah. She was entitled making a bracha on one's son's bar mitzvah, Baruch Shavitrani, without God's name. We learned in the first year that the practice most people is to make a bracha without saying God's name. We learned the reason why, because there are those that say, even though the bracha is ancient, comes from a few thousand years ago from the rabbis, it didn't make its way into the Gemara. And the question is, is that crucial or not? So the minute generally is not to make a bracha with, with God's name, just Baruch Shavitrani, but... The Maril, which is the first opinion brought down the Ramah that you say with a bracha, because it's self self, the Bama is it comes from the rabbis, even if it didn't make it into the Gemara. So that is a prominent sheet as well. The Al Shulchan, the late 1800s, early 1900s, says it seems from the way he writes, the Minnach actually was to make a bracha, Maril with God's name, Maril Diskin, Rosh Shlomo Zaman Orbach. And others say, yes, one should make a bracha. Chabad rabbis, many of them made the bracha with God's name. So it's not that there's no other sheet here. The other opinion, my rules opinion, did make it in some circles. But in general, if doesn't, one doesn't have a psak from his rabbi or misorah, that to say God's name in the bracha, then the midnight generally is not to do it. How do those who make the bracha say a bracha with God's name? Why not safek brachot lahakel? It's a question of saying God's name. So the answer is that, that when one has a psak from his rav, it doesn't matter what the rest of the world says. He has a psak from his rav, so make a bracha. He's not in suffolk brachot. He doesn't have a suffolk brachot. So maybe he makes a bracha with God's name. Or if he has a minhag, and that's a mesorah. If he has a mesorah, then once again, there's no suffolk brachot. Suffolk brachot only means a person, I don't know, shai, shai, I don't know what to do. Suffolk brachot, lachakel. But if he has a psak to make a bracha, yeah, he makes a bracha. He has a Messiah make a bracha. If he's a big enough Tamachach and Posek that he himself goes to the Sugya and he's convinced that's obviously a high level Tamachach, then that also, of course, in all of these cases, there is no Safek. And therefore, we don't, approve, we don't apply the rule of when in doubt, leave God's name out. We don't approve, apply that rule. And therefore, that he makes the bracha. So there are those who do say the bracha with God's name, like the Maharal's opinion. And Elu ve'elu, they're both legitimate, as long as one who does say the bracha has a Messorah or a Psach from his rough to do such a thing. Shalom.